Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is How To Architects, New York City of the Great Depression. It's clear when visiting the city that a lot of activity has created the place we know today as Gotham, or the Big Apple. The vertical layers of architecture narrate their stories as buildings of many generations stand side by side. Millions of people have lived in this city since its founding as New Amsterdam, a Dutch colonist trading post, in 1624. It served as the capital of the United States from 1785 to 1790, and today is the most densely populated city in America. The Great Depression was a period of worldwide economic despair and stagnation. It preceded World War II and began with the decline and collapse of the U.S. stock market in October of 1929. From New York City to many countries of the globe, the next 10 years saw a depression not yet repeated. Bernice Abbott photographed New York for 10 years, starting in 1929. Her goal was to capture change in the great city. To do this, she would need to focus on the interconnection of a diverse people in the places they live and work. With her large format camera, she gave voice to the people and places at the epicenter of a global downturn. She was interested in contrasts, specifically the old and the new. Her photographs were unstaged and raw. A city like New York, even today, is the same as it was then a place with layers of architectural sedimentation. Between and within the buildings live a magnificent array of people, culture, and age. The architecture of New York, as in every city, is physically and psychologically built on history. Every detail of every building in every place has been touched by the hands of man. People, in many cases, spent entire months years and lives working with their hands and machinery on these places. Every gargoyle, cornice, chiseled stone, window, door, and structural member were placed there by human beings. Aggregations of people in every corner of the city from colonization to today. Each one climbing a ladder, the rungs of which were handcrafted by their forefathers. In a metropolis like New York City, that can be the loneliest place on earth, people pass one another on the street, affecting each other anonymously. For good and for bad, the dreams and labor of ancestors are the foundations for the city. Renewed day in and day out, built up and torn down again. Bernice Abbott was focused on the effect of place on people and the effect of people on place. Her photographs capture the essence of what New York City was and is. A place not stuck in time, but in constant flux. Then, mired in the Great Depression and moving toward modernization. Today, constantly adding to its vertical steel, glass, and masonry stratum. I'm Doug Pat. We'll see you next time.